Hello, child of God. This is Pastor Ron again, coming to you with another another message on higher wisdom. Today's message is on how to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in other tongues as the Spirit gives utterance. Now, if you turn in your Bibles to chapter 10 of Romans, verse 9, the Apostle Paul is talking about salvation. And for each of us, we must be born again or, or to, to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. We must believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. So if you'll follow me in a prayer, you can rededicate yourself to the Lord or you can pray the initial prayer of salvation. But Romans 10 verse 9 says, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And you and I are those whosoever's. So if you'll follow me in this prayer... Uh, to rededicate yourself if you're if you're a born again believer, or to to receive initially receive the salvation if you're a believer, you must believe that Jesus was crucified, placed in the tomb, resurrected from the dead, and is seated by the Father. You must believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, Father God. That's right. Repeat after me, Father God. I ask you now, forgive my sin, cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Wash me in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. For I believe that Jesus was crucified for me and is raised from the dead and is seated by you. And as I pray, I forgive all of the trespasses of all the people I have ought against, Lord. And I ask that you pour out your Spirit upon me. Fill me up to overflowing with your Holy Spirit. Give me love for my enemies, love for my neighbors. And I receive that as done. Thank you for the free gift of salvation I receive in Jesus' name. Amen. So, child of God, if you've prayed with me that prayer, you have rededicated yourself or you've become born again, continue to forgive those who trespass against you. The next step in this process is to understand that the infilling of the Holy Spirit is what you receive when you receive Jesus Christ in your life. And the baptism of the Holy Spirit, which is subsequent, is uh, different. The infilling of the Holy Spirit is similar to taking a glass and filling it up to the top, to the brim, with water and setting it on the table. You are a born-again believer filled with the Holy Spirit. But if you take that same glass and put it under the faucet and turn the faucet on, the outpouring of the water all over it is similar to the baptism of the Holy Spirit. In other words, you are overflowing with the Holy Spirit. And in the overflowing, the Lord gives you gifts. He gives you Uh, Things like tongues, prophecy, word of wisdom, word of knowledge, and so on. It's an empowerment from from on high. Jesus told us in in the first chapter of Acts, wait in Jerusalem until power, power comes from on high. He's talking about the Holy Spirit. And in the second chapter of Acts, the church, uh, the 120 strong, was in the room on the day of uh, the upper room on the day of Pentecost when the Holy Spirit came in, and all of them, the whole 120, spoke in tongues. Later on, the, uh, the Apostle Paul was passing into Ephesus, and he met a, a group of uh, believers there. And uh, J- Acts chapter 19, verse through three, uh, 2 through 6, he says, He said unto them, Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard there be any Holy Ghost. So this, this seems to be a problem with um, not receiving the Holy Spirit because we have... Uh, we have to learn about the Holy Spirit. We have to believe that the Holy Spirit exists. We have to know that we have the baptism of the Holy Spirit, uh, the Spirit, Spirit as a gift to us. And verse 3, And he said unto them, Unto what then were you baptized? And they said unto him, Unto John's baptism. Well, John would, had been preaching about the Messiah that was to come. Then Paul said, John barely baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him, that should come after him. That is, on Christ Jesus. In verse 5, When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. So they were baptized in water. They they were believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, baptized in water. In verse 6, And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy, uh, Holy Ghost came upon them, and they spake with tongues and prophesied. 
they were given the gift of tongues in a subsequent baptism uh, separate from the baptism of water or the infilling of the Holy Spirit. And this, this, is, this is what I mean. The, the, the Scriptures give us lots of occasions of this same, this same example that um, when we receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we, get, we are filled with the Spirit. And then uh, when we are baptized in the Spirit, we are filled to overflowing, we are anointed with power. Um, the Scripture tells us that we will speak in other tongues. And this is what we want to pray for now. The, the prayer of uh, the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Now, follow me in this prayer. It's a gift, unearned and undeserved, of course. Follow me in the prayer for that gift. No one can earn or deserve the Holy Spirit. No one can be righteous enough. It's a free gift from God. He's already said yes. He cannot say no. God cannot lie. He's already said yes. He said, whatever you ask in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you shall receive. So follow me. Heavenly Father, that's right, follow me. Heavenly Father, I ask you now, baptize me in the Holy Spirit. Fill me to overflowing with your Holy Spirit. And give me the evidence of speaking in other tongues. Empower me for the work that you have for me to do. Give me the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And I receive this as done because I have asked you in the name above every name that is named, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I receive it, Father. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Now, child of God, the Lord has baptized you in the Holy Spirit. You know He has. The Word of God says He has. He, he, he cannot say no. He's already said yes. So just speak out any words that come to you. He will speak from His Spirit to your spirit. He will not work your mouth for you. You have to speak out those words. He will, when you stop speaking, He'll stop speaking. When you, as you continue to speak, as you will to pray in tongues, He will give you the words to say. Now, I'm going to pray in the Spirit in the background. Well, you just go ahead and worship the Lord in your own will, your own way, and just marvelously uh, let the Holy Spirit pour out through you. She under the he, under the he, under the sun, the under the he, under the sun, the ha. Under the he, under the he, she he, under the sun, the under the he, under the he, under the sun, the under ha. Under the he, under the he, she he, under the ha. Under the sun, the he, under the ha. Under the he, she he, under the ha. Under the he, under the under the sun, the under the he, under the ha, sun the. And did he hate he see he on the hold the under the house on the hand he hated he and did he hate he on the house on the hand he hated he on the house on the hand the and did he hate he on the house on the hand he and did he hate he see he on the hand the hand he hand the house on the hand and did he under the house on the hand he see